school time, but all of them are hoping to get a jump start on some of the deals out there. Yeah, here to give us a few tips on getting the most out of back to school shopping is Dr. Audrey Gusky of Duquesne University. She joins us for our regular Consumer Tuesday report. Good morning to you, Audrey. Good morning, John. Hi, Sunny. Where do we start? Well, basically, you have to do your homework before you actually start your back-to-school shopping. My advice to parents is always go through the inventory, go through all the stuff that the kids have already. You have to know what they have in order to determine what they need. And so if with your children, you determine what specific items they need, and then, of course, um, go through catalogs, online shopping. Do a lot of prep before you actually hit the malls, because that's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money and a lot of effort. Is it worth it, Audrey, to go into the stores now and look for the deals, or do the good sales typically come a little closer to the actual time when kids are going back to school? Well, Sunny, my advice is to shop early or shop late, and this is about the last amount of time you can shop early. Um, half of the uh, people who have kids who are school age have already stopped sh started shopping, and so uh, you want to go this week. Uh, next week at the very latest and then of course wait till after they're back in school you don't have to buy anything I think that's the biggest advice to parents and kids don't panic you have plenty of time to go out there and shop for things and if you buy everything before school there may be things that the kids don't need and of course once they get to school they're gonna see certain fashions their friends are wearing or notebooks that they need or other school supplies and so I would say spend maybe half of the money 60% of the, your budget and then save the rest for after they're actually in school because there are gonna be some fall clothes and items that they might need that might not quite have hit the shelves yet, correct? Absolutely right. And I think we need to keep in mind, this is the second biggest shopping season of the entire year. You're looking at $18 billion being spent. It's absolutely huge. The average family is going to spend about $560. Now, if you have a college freshman, it's different because you're going to spend over $1,100. Fortunately for me, my daughter's a college senior, so the average is only about 550 But it's an awful lot of money. And when you've got people spending that amount of money, you do need to do your homework. Make out the lists. Check the sales. Do consignment shops, hand-me-downs. Those types of things are very uh, viable and can save families a tremendous amount of money. Do uh, families tend to shop in the off-season uh, for some of those clothes? John, sometimes they do, but the problem is kids are growing and they're growing quickly, so a lot of times you can't buy things tremendously uh, in a, uh, you know, well ahead of time. But I would say uh, at this point a lot of people have been shopping for a couple of weeks already and have stocked up, and that's a good thing because, as we said, the sales were significantly before uh, the shopping season started, which is about this week, and then there will be a lot of bargains, I would think, probably the week before school as well. And Audrey, what about those super centers, your Walmarts, your Targets? That's pretty much one-stop shopping. They even have furniture, too, for college-age students, right? Absolutely, Sunny, and, and the trick is with that, typically people are spending a lot of money. That's the number one type of store we're shopping at the discounters. Consumers are saying they're not going to spend as much at discounters as they did last year, but they're still spending a lot, and as you said, the fashions, the clothes. When you're going to college, you of course have tons of things you need to buy, the electronics, and you know, the news, the big news this year is gadgets and shoes. Those seem to be the big things. Kids are buying tremendous amounts of electronics as well as shoes are a hot item. My advice to parents, don't buy the flip-flops. They can wear them around the house, but you really want the sturdy shoes and the fashionable shoes as well. And one thing, tip to parents, make sure you check the school code, the dress code, as well as the electronics code, because there may be certain items they're not allowed to take with them when they're actually in school and so you want to make sure you're buying things that are appropriate for them. Okay. Dr. Audrey Gusky, always a pleasure. Thank you. And Thanks, remember, Audrey. remember that Audrey is with us every Tuesday morning.